Hello and welcome to the Mobile School Playground. In this video I will explain to you how to play the choice game. And the choice game is a really interesting and attractive board game which will allow you to reflect with the children about the importance of life choices and their consequences. Now what do you need to play the choice game? You will need the big magnetic choice game board. You'll also need the choice game legend. Make sure that you have some blackboard space available next to the panel so that you can draw uh, the table as you can see on the blackboard. And you will also need the choice game rotation disc, which will also function as a die, as you can see over here. So if you gathered all these materials, you're ready and set to go and you can start playing the choice game. So let's have a look at the different boards of the choice game. The magnetic board, this is the board game itself. It's the goose board. Here you will move with your bottle cap along the board and you'll also need to make specific choices. Each time you reach an orange circle, you'll need to stop and you will need to make a certain choice in life. For example, between work and study. When you arrive at one of these squares, You'll always have the opportunity to look at the legend, what the symbols mean, and then you will need to spin the disc. In order to start the board game, you will gather all the bottle caps of the four players or the four teams of player in the middle of the board over here. Then all, play all the players will spin the disc to determine which player can start. So if you have a six, there's a high possibility you can start the game. So you move over here and immediately you are confronted with the first choice. Uh, you have a look at the legend to see what the choice is and you will see that the choice is between work or between studies. Imagine that I want to take the work option. You will see that there is a blue arrow over here. So this means I need to spin the disc and I will need to read my profession over here in the blue circle. I will be a scavenger during the game and my salary will be plus 20. So then you can say for player one, I move over here because I'm going for work and my salary will be plus 20. If you look closely to the choice game legend, you will notice that the upper part is all about the different choices you will make during the game and the lower part will be to keep track of your budget, of your score during the game. So it's very important that you note all the choices down on the blackboard so that afterwards, when the game is finished, you can reflect with the children about the consequence of their choices that they made during the game. Very important is that on each orange square, you can also take on or pay off a loan. If you're in desperate need of money, you can say like, I need uh, 100 extra budget. You can take it on a loan, but you need to pay off your loan before you end the game in the red circles over there. So you'll move along the game board and after a while you will see that you reach an orange square. Here, you'll always need to stop and you're confronted with a new choice. Here they say like, ah, are you going to start up your own business? Of course, this will require some investment as well. Or do you stay in your own profession? Once again, you see the two arrows. If you choose to stay in the, in the same category, you will spin the blue disc and you will change your street profession. Or if you want to start up your own business and do an investment, you'll need to, speed in the, to spin uh, the disc and look at the orange circle over there. Once again, make sure that you um, indicate your choices with uh, an X, for example, so that afterwards it's clear uh, which player has made which choice during the game. So you move along the board over here, you just follow the arrows you'll see there are more choices along the board over here. And in the end, you will land on the red, one of the red circles over here. And you will once again get the wrap up of the choices you made during the game. 
it's very important that all these choices will influence the game. So the game is developed in such a way that for certain choices you will have uh, a higher chance of being lucky in the game. Of course, since it's a goose board and there's a dice involved, luck will always play an important role in the game. So this is also a very valuable reflection to have with the kids afterwards. Like, were you lucky? Weren't you lucky? Or how did the choices that I made during the game influence uh, the outcome of the game? So in the end of the game, the winner will be the player with the most money. So it's very important that you keep track of all your earnings and spendings on the scoreboard, on the blackboard. Um, so afterwards, take the time to really discuss all the consequences um, with the kids as well. So it's always the same, it's about making choices in the game and, and taking into account the consequences of these choices. So whenever you land on a specific symbol, just go to the legend, see if you earn or if you lose some money, uh, write it down on the scoreboard and then you will be able to determine which player will be the winner of the choice game. So we hope you right now have uh, a good insight in how this game works and that you take it with you on the streets to play with your target groups. It's especially fun as well to play with older children and to reflect on their future. So definitely try it out on the streets. I hope you have a lot of fun with it and keep us posted about how your activity went. Thanks for watching this video and I hope to see you again very, very soon. Ciao, ciao.